Time to get up already? Nuts. There goes my phone. Wait a second. What's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. What's up, Rumi? I'll let you get back to your paper. Enjoy. Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. <laughs> don't worry. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. If she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a doll. Come get order up. Order up. Come get your order. Food's ready. There, all done. open. How goes it? I found your barrette. Great. Hey, thanks. I don't know why I bother with these things. They're always falling out of my hair. I know. This one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. What meeting? I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I'm not going to tell you anything, so whatever you think you saw, just forget it. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. What you saw was a meeting of the Blackwood Society. It's a secret club that someone at Waverly started a couple of years after the school was founded. Only seven girls a year get chosen to be members. Who does the choosing? I have no idea. Everything's totally anonymous. Everyone wears a cloak, like you saw, and no one ever talks. They just whisper, so you can't tell who anyone is. About once a month, I'll get a note or a text saying there's a meeting that night, and that's all we do. We just meet. There's no talking or socializing. We literally just stand around for about 20 minutes and chant. It's more like a tradition, one that keeps going even though everybody's forgotten how and why it started. What happens if you don't want to be a member? 
I have no idea. Look, to me belonging to the Blackwood Society is cool, not because it's secret and exclusive and all that, but because I like being part of something that someone a long time ago, for whatever reason, thought was important. I like not knowing what the chant means, and I accept all the secrecy and anonymity, because by doing so, I get to be part of a tradition that's more than a century old. I'm sure some girls belong because they're too intimidated to quit, but I belong because the unknown is something I've always felt drawn to. Anyway, that's it. That's all you're going to get me to say on the matter. Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Yeah. Why? Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. So all the headmistress has to do is check the dates and I'm in the clear. Oh my gosh, Becca, thank you. Thank you. So who posted it? Who tried to frame me? I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. What a surprise. Hey, I got something a newbie like you might like to read. Has some interesting information about Waverly. Thanks. You can keep it. I know everything I want to know about this place. Anything else going on? Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? I meant what I said before. Blackwood Society? Never heard of it. I'll quit bugging you. Sounds good.